welcome back to my channel. So, so happy to have you all here today. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you all part two of what I picked up during the Sephora spring sale. And I'm also gonna be showing you all some favorites as well too. So I'm gonna throw that in here as well as some repurchases I've made as well. So if you all wanna see what I've been loving, just keep on watching. The first product I'm gonna mention is this one from Olaplex. This is the number four P Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. So I actually heard really great things about this and like Olaplex in general has really great products so I was like let me go ahead and try this out I'm all about toning down the brassiness in my hair as you know I have more like darker hair and I just have highlights so my hair really goes onto that brassy yellow tone level really quick so I was like let me go ahead and try out this product from Olaplex and for majority of the reviews on Sephora they had great things to say about this product so I was like let me pick this up um so First of all, it says to like leave on for like one to three minutes. And then if you want more of like an intense tone, leave it up to like five minutes. So I haven't tried this product yet. So when I do try it out, I'm gonna first try it out for just like three minutes to see how that like tones out my hair. And then if it looks good, then like later on, build it up to like the five minute mark. I just like, I don't want my hair to turn like gray either. Cause I think some people had some experience with that. So I was like, Ugh. so I might just try a little bit and see how that goes at first. But um, yeah, I heard great things about this, so I just wanted to shout that out. I picked this one up at Sephora, and it looks like it also helps to strengthen your hair too. So um, they recommend afterwards following it up with the number five bond maintenance conditioner for everyday mo moisture or the number eight bond intense moisture mask for extra hydration so this so pairing one of those products after this will really give the maximum results for your hair so i'm excited to try this out so same within like the purple shampoo situation i also picked up this i actually got from my rewards like my points i picked up this amica bye bye brass kind of kit that comes with a shampoo conditioner repair mask and moisture and shine cream looks like this i actually haven't tried this brand before but i've heard great things about these products so this also helps to kind of tone down any brassiness in your hair i mean of course i picked up the toning shampoo from olaplex but i was like let me also try this out i want to see what's going to work best because i'm also going to go ahead and tone my hair too i'm gonna go ahead and retouch my hair and the highlights so i want something that's really gonna work for my hair it's something that i can use consistently and i just know that's gonna work so i kind of want to just test some products out and see what's gonna work the best for me so so yeah i'm really excited to try this bad boy out i also saw some reviews on here on youtube about this product this is the day cactus fruit three-in-one styling cream so really cute cute packaging i actually found this out um, here on YouTube too. I also saw that this was like a product that a lot of people were picking up to during the sale. So I was like, might as well let me try this out. Plus it has like the cactus fruit. So I was like, let me try it out. I'm all about like the cactus thing right now. It's like summer. Give it to me. It basically helps to smooth your hair while styling. Helps to like kind of give your hair like a nice prep before blow drying and helps to like define your curls too. Just make it like nice and shiny and bouncy. So I was like that's what I need right now. Like especially when my hair is just like super super straight. I need something that's going to give that nice bounce and just like smooth out my hair. So yeah this also helps to add polish to the hair shine and tame frizz so i'm really excited to try this out i'll let you all know how it's working for me but yeah i am excited to try this guy out another hair product i picked up is the way matte pomade so i actually don't have a pomade which is crazy right i actually don't do a lot of updos and like have my hair up a lot but I kind of want to explore that route. <laughs> I kind of want to put like, you know, kind of do some like updos and just like more creative styles in my hair. I'm all about changing my look around, of course, with makeup, but I also want to change my hair around too. So I was like, let me pick up a pomade crazy. I used to have one a long time ago, but like, like I said, I don't really pick up my hair that much. I used to pick up my hair all the time working as a waitress at Cheesecake Factory. Oh my gosh. I always had my hair up. I think I actually had to have our hair up now that I think about it. I'm like, why did I always wear my hair up? But we actually had to kind of ha have our hair up if we had like really long hair not that time I had really long hair so I would always put my hair like in a bun or like just kind of like um like a ponytail so this used to have a pomade back then but like recently now like 
I never really cared to use one because I never really had my hair up, but I was like, I'm going to try it now. So I wanted to pick up this and Way has really, really great hair products too. I love like their texture spray and like their volume spray too. So yeah, this just kind of helps like tame all like the baby hair, frizz. If you just want like a nice sleek pony, you would go in with something like this and it just will help to tame all those hairs back. So that's exactly what I need. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. You all know from my last video, I bought the Shiseido Blurring Primer and I'm so excited to keep using that so far it's been working really well but I also heard great things about this primer this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer and you know some people here on YouTube were re recommending this primer as well so I was like oh, let me try this out and like of course you know with like hotter months coming along you want something that's gonna make your makeup last all day long so it's like you know sweat free you're not dripping all over the place so i was like let me pick this up so this basically helps to prolong your foundation make it last all day helps to smooth out any imperfections as well so i'm really excited to try this of course urban decay is very very famous for their all-nighter setting spray it also helps to like lock in your makeup and last all night um so yeah i'm really excited to try this face primer too i'll let you all know how this is working for me all right so the next product i'm going to mention is from fenty beauty this is is the Visimat blotting powder in the shade Universal. So I wanted to have like a powder in my bag for when you know I'm like sweaty and like my makeup is just running for me to just go ahead and touch up my makeup. So this is exactly what that does. It helps to control shine, any oils, and just kind of help to mattify the skin. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pick this guy up. I feel like it's gonna work very well for me, and I needed something like this to have in my bag so I don't look like a grease ball throughout the day so really excited to try this out all right so the next product i'm gonna mention is from nars y'all y'all know i'm obsessed with nars and i'm just so surprised that i didn't have this already i was like wait i don't have this blush on hand like where have i been right a lot of people were mentioning about this blush too to pick up during the sale. This is the Orgasm X blush. Actually has been around I think for a little while now. But this blush color like y'all like do y'all see that like it's just like the perfect blush for like I feel like this time of the year. It's just like so like spring and fresh and colorful. Like it's not too corally like too orange and it's not like pink 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 it's like just straight dab in the middle and it has like some shimmer in there too so it just gives like a nice flush of color on the cheeks i think it's just gonna be so 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 pretty y'all if you're looking for a new blush to pick up definitely pick up the orgasm x from nars so so gorgeous next product i'm going to mention this is actually um from the sephora collection which i didn't really know that they had blushes in their collection. Like, obviously they do, come on now. Like, they have it all in the Sephora collection, but I actually haven't tried their blushes yet. This one is um, the Love Child blush, and I think this was the one that they were saying that, like, Kylie Jenner was promoting, or, like, her make makeup artist was promoting. I can't exactly remember, but this is also a really nice color as well. This is, like, a lot more toned down, but it's, like, a nice light peach shade. It's fresh color for the spring, so I wanted to try this out too so see how this works for me this is like an all matte shade so there's no shimmer in this blush but yeah it looks really really pretty right. makeup by mario which his whole collection is just like bomb diggity like his products are so amazing if you guys don't have like his contour sculpting sticks like Y'all need to get those because they are game changer to your makeup routine. I absolutely love those. I actually, I think I wanted to get another shade too. But yeah, his his whole collection is just amazing. And he also has lip colors too. So I heard these are really, really comfortable on the lips. They're not like a matte liquid lipstick. They're more comfortable on the lips. This one is the his Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. And I got the shade Nude Suede. Cause you know i'm all about my nudes i need to have a good nude and this is just so so pretty i feel like i'm already i already know i'm going to use this color so this is the shade nude suede i think it's just like a perfect nude um like i said i heard it's really comfortable on the lips and he also has like a whole bunch of different shades too if you guys are not like into the nudes but right now like 
I'm just all about the nudes right now. So, <laughs> so excited to try this out. I might pick up more. And I also want to try out his lip liners too. Because I heard really great things about his lip liners as well. So he also has really like good shade ranges on his lip colors. I had to pick one up during the sale. But they were like all sold out. So I was like... It's all good. Like, I'll go ahead and get that, like, whenever. So, save for this product as well. Last product I actually wanted to mention from Sephora is this one from Cinema Secrets. This is the Makeup Brush Cleaner. This comes so, so, so much in handy. And I have to thank Nicole Guerrero for putting us onto this product because we all know she kind of, like, the first one that introduced us to this. Because, like, y'all, this is game changer for real, like, to clean your brushes. Especially when you just, like, want to switch out a color on your brush. You don't want to go in the hassle of going to the sink and like literally clean out your brush. This just kind of helps to switch out the color instantly. All you have really have to do is just kind of pour this in a cup and dip your brush in there for a bit and take it out and then rub it on like a towel or a paper towel and the color literally comes off and you have a brand new brush to work with. So this is like definitely super, super handy. And of course, I still recommend you all still deep clean your brushes every once in a while because the brushes really need a deep cleaning. You don't want to be putting that bacteria back on your face. You want to really deep clean and like soak your brushes every once in a while. But this is just really comes in handy when you just don't have the time or energy to do all that and just want something really quick and easy to do. Just going with this guy and it smells like vanilla. Just letting you all know. Some people don't like the scent of this. So I'm just going to let you know it has a scent. A vanilla if you don't like it I'm sorry personally it's all good with me but yeah love this all guy right, so I also wanted to shout out some products that I picked up at Ulta the other day as well too so I'm going to throw that in this video and then the first product I'm going to mention to you all is actually the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today and it is the Tres Luce from Becky G's collection and this is the I Am palette y'all where have I been like dude this palette is so so phenomenal like and I'm not just saying that just to say it like, it's just like that great like it's it's amazing the reason why I was like let me go ahead and pick this up was that like her makeup artist you know she was like posting like pictures of like Becky G like doing her glam and all that and she was using her palettes and I was like dude her eyes are popping and like Becky G she has like brown like brownish hazelish eyes and I was like dang like her eyes are popping like it's just like boom like I love the colors like I need to have this and so I was like let me pick this up y'all this is what I have on today and the colors are just like boom in your face beautiful colors I feel like this is just gonna be like the next summer go-to palette if you're looking just for like a nice colorful eye and like the shades are just so vibrant so pigmented you barely have to dip your brush in this palette like it's just like butter and it blends so nicely on the eyes as well too and like I said just gives that nice pop of color so if y'all are looking for a new palette try the Tres Luce Beauty from Becky G y'all like where have I been <laughs> Ariana Grande also has her own line to Rem Beauty so I was like let me just kind of test the waters because I heard some mixed reviews on some things so I haven't like obviously tried like her full-on collection I didn't want to go ahead and buy her, her full collection even though like the the colors are given in her collection like y'all like they're given so I went ahead and picked up these lashes they're really pretty these are row and show pair I think they're just really really pretty I think feel like these are like the type of lashes that are like up my alley they're nice and wispy and I feel like they're really great for like nice glam days so I went ahead and picked up her lashes what really intrigued me too from her collection were these liquid eyeshadows which I haven't really played with liquid eyeshadows like that to be honest with you so I was like let me try to test these out and the colors are just really really pretty so I picked up the shade I picked up the shade Science Fair which is like a purplish and Fembot which is more like a lilac shade picked up Science Fair and Fembot and I just feel like the colors look so vibrant. I'm like, okay, so let me let me do a little swatchy swatchy. I feel like they're really, really pretty. But yeah, I was like, I'm gonna play with some like liquid eyeshadows. I haven't really like messed around with liquid eyeshadows in a while. So I was like, let me pick this up. And I feel like the shades are just so pretty and something I don't have already. And like, 
like I said, if you're just looking for like a nice colorful eye, something that's just going to pop, this is definitely going to pop. So that's how they look. Obviously, they're not on my eyes, but just like the pigmentation is like definitely there. But yeah, I'm really excited to create a look using these liquid eyeshadows. I just feel like it's just like a nice pop of color and these shades are just up my alley already. So I'm like, I, I feel like I'm already going to love it. So okay not like makeup related but kind of like beauty related I guess I actually went ahead and picked up like these little like breast lift tapes I just feel like these would be really like handy like on those days that like you're wearing like um like a blouse or a dress that you just want your like your boobies to look right and in place so I was like let me try these out I haven't tried them out yet so I'm like Maybe maybe they'll will work for me in my boobie situation. And then I also picked up these nipple covers too because I thought I had some, but I guess I don't. Um, so I was like, you know, oh, let me go ahead and pick this up because, you know, like sometimes you just don't want your whole nipple to be showing out there for the whole world to see. You want to cover them up. So I was like, let me go ahead and get these cover-ups. I heard actually great things about this Hollywood Fashion Secrets brand. So, um, yeah, so I went ahead and picked these guys up at Ulta. Speaking of boobies... <laughs> Um, I also picked up this like serum for like your boobs as well too. It just kind of helps to give like nice hydration to them, make them look plump and juicy. <laughs> I actually have one for my booty as well too. Actually, I feel like I just finished that one. I have something different, but it's just from the same brand truly. And yeah, it just helps to like give hydration on the skin and just helps your skin just feel smooth. So that's why I picked this one up. I'm all about lotions, all about the serums. Give it to me. I want my skin to look healthy. <laughs> so yeah, this is the nice melons boob cream and the ingredients that it has, it has honeydew, cantaloupe, kiwi, ginseng, and kiko. Kiglia Fruit Boost, if that's how you pronounce it. I really like this brand too. This is how it looks in the bottle. Um, like I said, I also have like the little booty cream and serum as well. And it just helps to like tighten and firm up the skin. This one's specifically designed for like the booby area. So I'm really excited to try this out. And this also is vegan, cruelty free, animal cruelty free, and has really nice ingredients in here too. So if you're looking for something that's nice to the environment and nice to your skin, try out this. I also randomly, I picked up these, I didn't know they had this at Ulta, but they have like the little temporary tattoo thingies, which I always used to see this like around like on my Instagram, like, you know, scrolling through the ads and stuff like that, this would pop up. And I was like, oh, I'm not too crazy about just like the whole temporary tat situation. But I think they're really cute. Like if you just like want to like change up your look for a day and want to put a little tattoo on your body, why not? Um, this like literally washes off with like hand sanitizer, like any like rubbing alcohol. So I was like, let me pick this up and I actually have one on today. Let me show you all. Like it looks legit, right? I have be the change on here and I actually kind of like this I'm like dang maybe I maybe I'll end up getting a tattoo like this I just feel like they're just so like whimsical and just so cute like something different if you are like me and a little bit quirky and want some someone to change up your look buy these I think they're really cute you basically just like put them on your skin put like a damp cloth on top of it, leave it on for like about 20 seconds and peel it off. And it looks like you just got a new tattoo. They're like the tattoo without the actual commitment. So yeah, if y'all want to try this out, they have it at Ulta. I think they also sell them online on their website too. But I think they're just so fun. So yeah, if y'all want to check them out, definitely do. Okay, so the next things I'm going to show you are kind of like repurchases. So I went ahead and picked up another NYX HD concealer. I'm obsessed with this concealer. It's more like... The concealer that matches more of my skin tone so it's not like super super brightening um th at least this shade isn't this is the 4.5 um but sometimes i just want something more neutral for like under my eyes or to kind of just blend everything else on my skin i like to use this product and also to kind of shape my brows i like to use this concealer as well it's very comparable to the nars concealer as well just like more like in a smaller bottle but i feel like it still lasts, lasts me a long time too um but yeah i absolutely love this concealer 
concealer. If y'all haven't tried the NYX HG concealer, where have you been? Because they're everything. Went ahead and got that guy. Picked up two more of the Essence Super Precise Eyeliners. I went ahead and picked up two because like for the longest time they were like sold out online because this eyeliner is like literally like bomb diggity. If y'all are OG makeup people, remember like the NYC liquid liner? Like that was my go-to liquid liner, like li black liquid liner, but then they discontinued it. And I was like, oh, now what am I gonna use, right? And so I use a couple other products as well in the meantime, but then I discovered this one from Essence and it's just been game changer. It's kind of, it's like literally like the same thing. If anything, I feel like even better than the um, NYC one. Um, so yeah, I really love this liquid liner. I just love a, like a precise tip when applying my eyeliner because I'm like, I don't want my eyeliner to be going all over the place. Like we need the, we need them like snatched, right? We need our wings snatched, so. This definitely helps to do like the most perfect wing wing if you all love the wing. So y'all know I love my wing. Like, so yeah, definitely try these guys out. I ahead and picked up another Painterly Paint Pot. This is what I use as an eyeshadow base. I've been using this for like so long, for like over a decade now. <laughs> it just helps to control the eyeshadow and make sure like it's just gonna last all day long. So yeah, I use the shade Painterly and it works really well for me. I haven't really tried really anything else, honestly, like that. Here and there I do, but I always go back to this product. I feel like it just works really well and just holding my eyeshadow down and making it last all day. So I really love that guy from MAC. So yeah, speaking of MAC, I actually went ahead and picked up another Fix Plus. And I think that you have like this as like a permanent thing now or like they come out with it every year. It's their like cherry blossom kind of scent. Um, I really, really love this scent. I actually have like two other ones from like the previous years. So I'm really, really excited to continue using this. I love the bottle. It's super, super cute and spring-like. So yeah, I love a good Fix Plus every once in a while as well. Um, as much as I love my Charlotte Tilbury, you know, I still love my Fix Plus. I still go back to it to make my highlight pop. So yeah. Definitely love this. So another favorites I wanted to pick up again are the Kiss Lashes and Ruffle. I've been obsessed with these lashes, y'all. If you are looking for just nice, natural, everyday kind of lashes, Kiss Lashes have amazing lashes. They have a wide variety of different styles. These are just kind of like the ones I kind of like currently. This is the Ruffle style and they're just like nice and wispy and just really, really pretty on the eyes. So those have been my go-to. I love them so, so, so much. So I had to pick up those again and I went ahead and picked up another, actually two more of their lash glues as well. I have a whole bunch of lash glues, but they go so, so, so quickly. So I wanted to go ahead and just pick up two more of these. And like my mom uses some of them too. So like we kind of share that as well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pick up more lash glue. So another thing I also picked up is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal Paris. Paris. This is my favorite, absolute favorite mascara. It just gives nice volume. It helps to separate my lashes and just make my eyelashes pop so, so, so well. So I usually get the one in black is black, but I also have the black brown one too, which I use more to like tone down my makeup looks a little bit more. But y'all know me and my black. I love the nice deep dark black shade too for my lashes to okay, just give that nice volume and just make my lashes look a little bit more dramatic. So yeah, I love this mascara. Can't say enough great things about this. I went ahead and picked up some more of these clips too. They're like from the scrunchie collection. I just think they're really, really cute and just like fun and playful. I'm like really into like these like um, type of clips right now I think they're just like so like retro they're kind of like giving like the 90s early 2000s vibe so give it to me I just wanted to have something nice and cute for my hair but the last things I picked up from Ulta are some nail polishes and there's some that I have on my nails today sorry if they look super super crappy I am not an expert on doing my own nails I'm so sorry guys it's just for fun <laughs> Um, and I've actually been doing my nails recently and 
been doing like the acrylics on my nails and I'm like let me give my nails a break a little bit I'm like we ain't, we ain't got the money to be doing all that right now so I, I just went ahead and painted my nails and I just think these colors are just super super pretty for like the springtime and I'll go ahead and share with you the shades really love the OPI um, nail colors they're just super super fun so I got this one this one's called racing pinks it's just like a nice light pink matte type of shade and I got this one. This one's called Always Greener. Super, super cute. It's like a nice light green pastel kind of color. Also like a nice matte shade. Super, super pretty. This is called Pixel Dust. And it has like a nice like pink type of shimmer in there. It has some reflexive like silver as well. Super, super cute. And then you had me at Halo, which I think this one might be like my favorite one. It's like a nice blue kind of like iridescent shade. I just, just really, really love it. And like I said, like they, I have them on my nails today and they're just super, super cute. Of course, like I said, like my nails ain't professionally done. <laughs> they're done by me, which is sucky. But I just feel like they're just so pretty. And I also picked up this little cute shade too. This one's called... Um, the Snuggle is Real, and this is from Essie, the East Essie collection. I also like their nail colors, too. So this is, like, more like a nude type of shade. If I don't want my colors to be so colorful, I would go in with maybe something like this. So, yeah, I wanted to shout that guy out. also picked up the Sun Bum um, sunscreen. I was out of um, sunscreen, like the spray type. So I was like, let me try out Sun Bum because I liked the other products I used last year, which was kind of like the sunscreen for the face. I also got the chapstick too that had sunscreen in there as well. So I was like, I like those products so far. So I wanted to go ahead and try out this guy. And yeah, this just has the SPF of 50. And I think I'm going to be going out running and doing more things outside. So I have to make sure my skin is protected and I'm not damaging my skin. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pick one of these guys up as well. All right, y'all. So I wanted to go ahead and end this video with some book recommendations too. So I wouldn't say like I'm a huge bookworm and like I read a whole lot all the time. But within like the last year or so, like I really wanted to get into some books and some reading. And I'm in love with the books that I'm going to mention to you guys. So the first one I wanted to recommend is this one's called Wish You Were Here. Um, this is by Renee Carlino. This book, this book is really, really good. Highly recommend it. And yeah, basically it's like about this girl, like she's like navigating her 20s. She's been through like several jobs and like relationships and she just doesn't feel like anything's like been really fulfilling for her until like she meets this guy and it's kind of like changed her world, <laughs> so to speak. Like she just just trying to discover like this mystery behind him at the same time too and I don't know she's just like really like head over heels for him and then she meets like this other guy too so in the sense she's kind of like juggling between both of them Let's get like even more like deep throughout the book as well too and honestly it's just a really really great read great romance novel not your typical type of romance novel but definitely a good read with a nice lesson so highly recommend wish you were here another book that i recently just finished is it ends with us by colleen hoover heard so many great things about this author she has like so many different books and yeah i was like i need to pick this up because i heard all great recommendations for this book and this one was also kind of very similar to the first book that i just mentioned also kind of like about a girl also kind of like navigating her life but she also comes from like a really really dark past with her family and you know she's kind of trying to move past that she's trying to you know create the best future for herself so she's trying to make her dreams come true she wants to be a florist and yeah she's just trying to like live her dream and then you know towards the beginning of the book she meets like this guy and she finds out like he's a neurosurgeon he's a doctor has all this money has like everything going for him and not only that but he's like super super handsome so she's just like she automatically clicks with him but there's like some red flags that pop up you know with throughout their conversation and she's just like yeah like this is just a guy this is just an encounter there's nothing to this and so they until they meet again and then from there 
is kind of like kind of where the rest of the story kind of goes and throughout the book it's kind of jumping back into her past and like her past relationships as well too it's the story more into context and it just really shows like how their relationship goes between her and the doctor which they do end up getting involved with one another but let's just say true colors come out throughout the book and she just learns a powerful lesson behind it so highly highly recommend it if you all are looking for another read i also picked up ugly love by colleen hoover this also looked really interesting i actually only read a couple pages so far i actually when i got it ends with us i went ahead and read that one that book first so i haven't really gotten deep with this book but it's also kind of like the same kind of thing like dealing with relationships so it's kind of like a romance novel but basically like I guess like this guy and girl like they meet and it's just kind of like basically just like their relationship is just based on like physical attraction like nothing else like they are like no strings attached like they don't want to be committed with one another it's just like it's just like that it's just kind of like almost like a situation ship I guess so like I haven't read too much of the book just yet but like it's basically saying like can they handle that like no strings attached type of relationship without catching feelings because you know at the end of the day somebody always ends up catching feelings like somebody maybe one more than the other but like I don't know I feel like things are gonna get really steamy between them and they're just gonna get married it's like but I'm really interested to see how this book goes too so yeah excited for reading more of Colleen Hoover's books I will let you guys all know how this book goes as well all right everyone so that actually wraps it up for this video today I know there was like a lot of things going on a lot of a lot of goodies going on here in this video but I hope you all enjoyed make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also comment down below on like products you're loving what you loved from this video or also comment down below like any book recommendations because I'm also always looking for like a nice good read especially now that it's getting warmer outside it's just really relaxing when you can just get a nice book and just like read outside and just have, have like the sun on you feels so good if you haven't already make sure you join the fam bam like we all want to, we all want you here we want a nice space to talk about makeup to talk about whatever so if you are about that <laughs> just go ahead and subscribe to me i have a whole a lot of things up my sleeve that are coming your way so make sure you're subscribed to this channel to be in tune of what i'm going to be uploading and yeah thank you so much for watching y'all i can't wait to see you all in my next one bye